for our, one of our in-house activities, we have decided to involve our fathers because we know that our boys need role models. So therefore, in an effort to participate the fathers, we have decided to have Father's Day. And from all aspects of school, from administration right down to auxiliary, we have the fathers taking part. There were plumbers, masons, carpenters, security officers, and chefs in the school's cafeteria. But what they all had in common is that they were fathers overseeing the Ina Capron Primary School for the day. Display sections were set up around the school's premises where fathers made presentations on their various careers. According to principal of the school, Rachel Taylor, fathers showed a tremendous support for the event and those who were unable to attend sent representatives like 19-year-old Franz Florian Moore, who spoke about his experience. In the near future, well, yes, I would love to, love to come back and see how they're doing because this class promised me the whole, that every one of them is going to pass GSET and I'm looking forward to seeing every one of them pass. So I'm really happy that I'm here to do this and I'm enjoying it. Sitting in the principal chair for the day was air traffic controller Shavargo Mizik. Mizik said that while fulfilling his duties as a principal, he learned that patience is a key quality that anyone taking on the role must have. Well, so far since I've been here, uh, I volunteer teaching here. The thing is that um, most of the classes are very big, so sometimes you have like over 20-something students to 30 students in one class with one teacher. It's quite difficult for the teacher to keep up with 30 students. Meanwhile, over at the Osita Jolly Primary School, students and teachers went bazaar with their Education Week activity. Principal of Osita Jolly Primary, Rachel Hanfield, and fifth grade teacher Judy Knowles were hardly recognizable in their plaid jumpers, ponytails, and dark blue socks. The two, along with other teachers, gave up their regular roles in the classrooms while the students took charge. student exchange allowed sixth grade students to use their intelligence as teachers, some overseeing the school as vice principal and principal, and others taking on the task of being the school's groundsman. I have been walking around the classes, looking at the works that the students been doing. I've been filling out forms and preparing what the school has to do. I know how, what a teacher has to put up when the students are being disrespectful to them and when they are misbehaving and they don't listen to the teacher why they have to get punished. My duties were patrolling the school making sure that the students are inside their class and behaving. If the principal is out I can fill in for her and make sure that everyone is in their right places and doing the right thing. Hanfield says that this isn't the first time an event of this kind has been held and she hopes that students develop their leadership qualities as they impersonate teachers in a number of subject areas. They have been teaching um, algebra and mathematics. They have been doing um, the, the CPU, the monitor and all of that stuff in computer science and um, phonics in reading. They have been covering just about everything. For WIV for News, I'm Nakira John.